Jesus Christ, we see a comprehensive picture of his divinity, humanity, and mission. Jesus, as the Word, became flesh and made his dwelling among us, signifying the divine incarnation. He is the second Adam, who in contrast to the first Adam, came to save humanity from sin. This act of salvation is rooted in his identity as the Son of Man. This title encompasses his full divinity, humanity, and authority as God's appointed King. The New Testament epistles refer to Christ's second coming under the phrase, the day of the Lord, emphasizing his return as a day of judgment and salvation. This theological understanding is part of the broader revelation in the New Testament, which distinguishes between the two comings of Christ, with the first coming securing the salvation of his people. Jesus' humanity is crucial for his mission of reconciliation and salvation. By becoming like the people who had rebelled against the Father, he could bring about their reconciliation. By becoming like the devil's captives, he could overturn their captivity. This underscores the significance of the Incarnation, as God not only spoke through his prophets but also came to earth and spoke in person through his Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, as both God and the Savior of the world, embodies a message of hope and restoration, promising to end all global crises and usher in a new earth. His role as the Son of Man and the fulfillment of the Old Testament messianic prophecies underscores his central position in biblical theology as the one who brings together the divine and human, the past, the present, and the future in a divine human narrative of redemption.